comes to naming a baby, do you know which name is more popular right now in Great Britain? George or Mohammed? George? Uh, wrong. No. It's Mohammed. You got it. Mohammed actually just overtook George on the list of the most popular names in the UK. With me now to talk about the deepening influence of Islam on life in Britain is Gerard Baker, the U.S. editor of the Times of London. So, uh, Jerry, what does this mean? That just more Muslims in Britain? That's right. I mean, the uh, number of Muslims is growing uh, dramatically. Muslims tend to have larger families, many more children. Birth rates among the rest of the population are declining. It's even more dramatic in the rest of Europe. Mohammed is actually the single most popular name on birth certificates in Belgium, for example. Across Europe, this is a demographic phenomenon. More and more Muslims are having five, six, seven children. Uh, traditional uh, Caucasian, if you like, uh, Christians tend to be having one or in many cases no children at all. So there is, we're on a steady path here towards a rapid increase in the proportion of the population that is Muslim. Is it uh, fair to say that Britain is becoming a Muslim country? No, that's, that would be going too far. The population, the official Muslim population is somewhere around 5%. Uh, that's still, obviously, uh, has a long way to go before it becomes a majority. It's bigger again than that in, uh, in many other countries in Europe, uh, more like 10 or even 15% in some European countries. But Britain's, but Britain is not, uh, is not going to become a Muslim country in the near future. But what is going to happen uh, is that steadily the influence of Islam, the influence of, of Muslims is going to grow unless there is a reversal in these demographic trends. And uh, I mean, it's not all bad. I suppose it's not as bad as, as perhaps some people might think. Uh, there are, as you said, uh, Mohammed is now a more popular name than George, but still, 